Washington 6 9. He is our friend, our cousin, our neighbor, our father, our future father. Hold on, man. That don't make no goddamn sense. Have you been smoking the wooden part of the black and mild? Um, his, his story uh, or videos um, about him and his travel have been showing up on my feed on the YouTubes. And I think a lot of people will just overlook them and say, stupid idiot, I wouldn't do that. If I was Tekashi, I would have done this. If I was Scarface, I would have done this. If I would have been Don Corleone, I would have done this. And I think a lot of us could reflect back on life and think back and and say now, now, not back then, now. Um, yeah, I fucked up. But nope, I'm not giving him any slack. Like, oh, forgive him for being a dumbass. No. Because. Yeah, as I walk my dogs or get coffee somewhere and sit down. And I'm not this big nosy motherfucker But I do pay attention to my surroundings And when I eavesdrop Or some ratchet motherfucker is Yeah you know what I'm doing You need to respect me I'm trying to kick some knowledge Oh hell no Oh man uh, this and that and... and I'm thinking dude You're you're, you're getting worked up over Um Or something small. Remember, sometime, one time, this chick I knew, she got her her car crashed into. Uh, it was a nice car. Um, she's all pissed off, and not like her. She was a cool chick, and she's like, "No, but you don't understand. It's my car, and I said, "Hey, do you know what car it was?" All right, call your insurance company, call the cops, and just just get it done. But when you're um when you're working yourself up like that, you're just not <clears throat> you're not a <sighs> you're not um. Or, or you're tapping into some sort of weakness or some bullshit. And uh, she says something like, oh, cause it's not your car. And I say, uh, and I just thought, I'm not going to argue there. But I remember when someone hit my car. And I thought, oh, yeah. I was in the right of way. So this motherfucker is wrong. I'm going to get paid, yo. I got a paint job and uh, some body work done to my car because of that. And my car came out looking more awesome. Yeah, that's what I thought. You know, it's, it's not a 1953 Bel Air or 1964 Corvette. Corvette. 64 Impala or what the first year the Quebec came out where parts are limited, scarce. <clears throat> if your car was produced this millennium, uh, yeah, well, I wouldn't sweat it. Again, some dumb folks will say, well, you know, because it's not your car. You know, but these are the same people that say, yeah, Takashi 69, you fucking idiot. Imagine if uh, my toothbrush or my shoes or um, what else do I use that so I use for a while but it's, but it's expendable or disposable my shoes. Uh, 
will say, no, you scratch my toothbrush. My deodorant. You got, um, you smudged it with this. And I've seen people, um, take care of their shoes. Oh no, I got a little mark on them. And I think, dude, have, have you seen your home? Your office, your work environment, your interior of your car? You know, do you care about, um, is it just an appearance that you're going for here or these things are all you know expendable but yeah and I would like to say I would like to believe that uh, if I had Takashi's um, money, contacts, exposure, big booty bitches, I would be disciplined enough and focused enough to make more of that. But he uh, chose to surround himself with garbage, snakes, pieces of shit, dumb, worthless niggers. Piece of shit, gang members. No, you're racist. No, I said niggers. Didn't say you're all black people. These are black people that reinforce the stereotype of a fucking whatever the Latin word of nigger is. <coughs> and, and people will, will go ahead and just stop. I ain't listening no more to this um, white rhetoric. Because somewhere along the line, or when we're made to think, or our, or our ideas are challenged, no, that's not right. That's not fair. It's not fair. You know, I've, I've wasted a lot of moments, life, opportunity, resources, thinking that no, that, that's not fair. Things should be fair. <laughs> When I when I eventually found out found the calculation of yeah it's unfair, go try another door, knock on another door, ask for another shot, try a different route, go again, try harder, you fail, try again, back to the drawing board. But some people want to believe otherwise. No man, it's because I'm fat, because I'm short, because I'm weak, because I don't have a college degree, because I'm poor, because I'm this, because I don't have a mama, I don't have a daddy. My grandma hit me. My grandfather beat me. My dad raped me. My uncle fucking molested me. My auntie threw uh, hot soap, hot oil in my eyeballs. And uh, no doubt, man, that uh, pain hurts. And, <clears throat> and I've been through enough in life that uh, I could say, uh, no, man, life's not fair. So, you know, I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back at everybody. I'm going to do this all out my revenge. And I'm thinking about not just a lot of people that I grew up with, grew up around with, went to school with, but people that I'm related to. And I thought, you know, what, what can I learn from this? What can I gain from this? And I thought, uh, you know what? It's a good thing that I have these fucking people in my life. Grew up with them and saw them and was raised by them. Because they taught me everything exactly that I don't want in life you know and, and there are people out there that will say no man blood is thicker than water 
And I don't think you want to go down that route with me. Because I could take you on a journey where, keep in mind, blood is thicker than water this whole time where I take you down some very dark, deep, dark paths of life. Where pain, destruction, evil, rape, betrayal, death, disease, poverty uh, plays in the background, man, on the side, on the main stage. <clears throat> I'm trying to think what I saw recently where, uh, um, yes, I do like being optimistic, effective, but at times when I see, um, this whole, whole jolly Disney vibe, thinking, hey, 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 chill out, chill out, chill out, I think I see it a lot on these morning shows that, uh, that use, use the word, um, Cultura or Comunidad, culture and community. And I think, hey, you fuckers are not living in um, South Central, the poorest parts of San Antonio, um, the blackest sides of most violent crack. Pimp infested, big booty hole territories of um, of Oakland, man. <clears throat> you know, these are people that will say, "Man, I can't believe you said that about Takashi Six Nine and about the black people." about poverty, about growing up in the hood, about this, about that. These are people that are wear the, uh, the Compton hat. Bump the rap music at their, um, quinceanera, their party. And can only imagine about a, about a trap house, about shouting about getting bitches, about pulling out your gat. <clears throat> yeah, we, I think we have, uh, I've seen them. Tons of fucking foolishness, man. A bunch of morons that, uh, Are only create are only gonna create uh, Takashi six nines with more Takashi six nines. Yeah, man. Well, you see, you're you're isolated, man. You need to talk more. You need to um. Um, just relax. And to me, it's as simple as how can I relax when, you know, when there's a dirty sidewalk that sweep. Yeah, well, it's going to get dirty anyways. It's going to get dirty tomorrow. I'll sweep it tomorrow. <clears throat> I found this, I found this YouTube channel, or this YouTube channel found me. Um, Cocinando de mi cocina, so something like that. I'll get the name of it eventually. I watch a lot of it, of these channels. It's this lady um, in Mexico who's cooking. Mm, mm, mm. I do, I can only watch more clips of it because, um, clips of it because if not I get that. 
too hungry or my mouth starts watering too much. Because I remember, uh, I still think of this one restaurant where <laughs> I ordered my, let's see, chicken or what? Chicken enchiladas. I think they were chicken enchiladas. Someone that just recommended the spot to me. And go order my food and and add some bread on standby. I thought oh, it smells good in here. It smells cool. Let's see what happens. It's going away my gear. And I eat this bread. I'm thinking, oh my god. Praise be to Allah the merciful. I, I, I tasted I tasted life. I think of that bread was given to a lot of suicidal people. <laughs> people are ready to jump off the bridge. They say, here, 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 have some bread. Before you jump, have some bread. They finally, I was guessing more than one, one person would say, oh, oh my goodness, who did this? Man, are you guys hiring? <laughs> I'll kill a motherfucker. Let me work for you guys. <clears throat> the bread was... Um, moist enough, flexible enough, warm enough. It's this awesome smell of a bakery, and it wasn't a bakery, it was a restaurant. I'm losing my train of thought. I was thinking, fuck. A lot of stupid fucks, small thinking motherfuckers, lazy, weak, fat cunts, cowards would say, oh, where is it at? Let's go. And I think, do you know how I found that place? By believing in myself. L literally, I say, yeah, let me, let me look at the city. In another state, in some cases, another country. Let me see if I can do business here. Not, what do I know? Nobody. Contact zero. Guarantee of success zero. Guarantee of sales zero. Guarantee of safety zero. Zero percent. So, why should I do all of that? There's no doubt that there are some rare, amazing people in my life that I'll be like, hey, dog. Let's go eat somewhere. What's a four hour drive? Let's go. Let me show you this. Yeah, so I'm watching this cooking YouTube video right now. It's pretty awesome. Awesome stuff.
you choose to do in this lifetime. Yeah, and I think some dumb kind will probably say, no man, that's not my uncle, that's not my dad, that's not my big brother, that's not my little brother. <clears throat> Can you honestly look in the mirror tonight and for you, after you take a shit and brush your teeth before you go to bed and say, yeah, I did my absolute fucking best today. Maximum. Perfect. Honorably. 1,000% teamwork. Just like yesterday and the day before and for the rest of the year. Patrice O'Neill and Greg Giraldo. Too funny. Too funny for this version of the universe. I wonder if that's why they were dead. Greg Giraldo suicide and Patrice O'Neill, I think, the diabetes.
am nowhere near perfection at all. And they drop the ball on a daily basis, even today. But I'm still in the game. Sick for now, motherfuckers. Get after it. Go forward. No excuses.